How's it going, everyone? It is Andre Williams, and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about SoFi. It is continuing to see a pullback inside of the market. Ended up making a 52-week low. We had the CPI numbers that came out. And right now, there is not a lot of love out there for SoFi. But we'll talk about it further in this video. I won't waste any more time. Let's jump into the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you're a shareholder, or you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're going to go over is the technical analysis. We're going to be taking a look at the overall price action. We want to know support. We want to know resistance. We want to know what it looks like in the bearish case scenario and as well as in the bullish case scenario. And then we're going to be going on Fintel, taking a look at the recent institutional ownership and short interest information. The reason why this is important because it does have an impact on the way the stock performs. And then we're going to be taking a look at the order flow distribution. We want to know the buying and the selling behavior on the retail side and as well as on the institutional side. And then when all of that is done, we'll be going into the final thoughts and as well as some more details. So let's get to it. So we're going to do a technical analysis for SoFi. Let's see how it performed on the day. So it ended up closing at $7.48, being down 3.11%. On the low, it tested $7.37 and then on the high, testing $8.09. When we take a look at the volume stats on the day you can see we traded at 58.29 million shares and the average volume over 10 trading days is at 50.14 million shares so we had above average volume on the day but you can see we dealt with a good amount of selling pressure now when we take a look at our chart which is a daily chart you can see from the RSI down below it is at 33.27 and then when we take a look at our moving averages here on the chart we are below the 200 day the 100 day the 50 day and as well as the 21 day EMA so we are trading below all of our major moving averages and it's clear to see that SoFi is in a bear market we also seen a 52 week low at 737 and since there has been no floor whatsoever that's why this pullback could continue where we could possibly test in the six dollar range I talked about that in the previous video so where you want to see some price action where you want to see some strength for SoFi is being able to get a Above the high of the day at eight dollars and nine cents and then most preferably being able to give us a move to around eight dollars and 74 cents if it's able to get to this level that's where I'm gonna be looking for that test to the 21 day EMA right at nine dollars and then seeing what we would do from there I do see that bulls would want to step in but it'd be a good amount of profit taking and that's why volume would be very crucial but for the meantime as far as as this week progresses if we continue to pull back don't be shocked if you see so far in the six dollar range and there might be a potential chance where seven dollars might be the floor for SoFi but again we can't confirm that as of yet but for anyone that's looking at this play as a long-term investor I would definitely be giving it some heavy consideration with doing your homework and your due diligence now let's move on to the short interest information so we're gonna take a look at the recent institutional ownership and short interest information for SoFi so green rows indicate new positions and red rows indicate closed positions so when we take a look at the recent filings here we can see we just have closed positions we see it from Matisse Capital, Eaton Vance Management, Harbor Capital Advisors, Anderson and Hoglin and as well as Nordia Investment Management and you can see as far as for the value change it is at 100% so just meaning that they close out their positions and now when we take a look at the short interest the off exchange short volume ratio is at 39.59% and then for the off exchange short volume it is just over 6.68 million shares scrolling down further on the page the short shares availability is at 2.5 million updated 16 minutes ago and then for the short ball fee rate it is at 1.72 percent when we take a look at the history of the short volume we can see for the close of the 8th it is at 56.02 and then for the close of the 11th being at 39.59 so that is a significant decrease right there so that also shows us alongside with the short interest percentage of the float being at 8.8 
18.01%. SoFi does have short squeeze potential. Now let's move on to the order flow distribution. Now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for SoFi. So we see on the inflow, it's at 73.03. And then on the outflow, it's at 81.58. So we had an outflow day and do know these numbers are in the millions. Taking a look at the breakdown, on the large, it was zero. On the medium, it was 46.64. And then on the small, it was 26.39. Taking a look at the outflow side, you can see on the large, it was 2.12. On the medium, it was 52.67. And then on the small, it was 26.79. Taking a look at the large scale orders in the last five days, you can see for today, April the 12th, we had an outflow of negative 2.12 million. And then on the 11th, had a negative outflow of 1.36 million. Analyzing the numbers even further for the small scale orders that tends to represent the retail retail side, we had more selling than we had buying. But keep in mind, it was still fairly close. And then when we take a look at what happened on the medium, we had more selling than we had buying. And then when we take a look at the large, which represents whales, institutions, and funds, we had more selling than we had buying. And then when we take a look at the turnover ratio, it was at 7.06%. No surprises, we know SoFi does trade at relatively high volume. But one thing that is clear though, retail is stepping in and buying up the dip. And with the selling pressure and with the CPI numbers that came out, I'm not surprised about that. So let's get into the final thoughts and we'll go over some more details as well. So for my final thoughts for SoFi, when it comes to the price action, if you're looking for a bullish reversal, then we need to fill in that gap to the upside at $8.50. Upon filling in this gap, then I'd want to see a move going to $9. And then it would be very crucial to hold support at this level. There is a good amount of selling pressure there, but I feel with a strong catalyst and demand inside of the market, it should be able to make SoFi comfortable at nine and then make that move to 10. I don't see this happening as this week progresses, so I wanna make sure I'm being clear about that. Now, if it decides to have a pullback or make another 52 week low, do know we tested $7.37. So if this level breaks, I wanna see if we could hold support at $7. But here's the thing, there's no proven support areas whatsoever. So if we end up breaking through $7, that's when we'll get to the $6 range. Range. And that's where I'm easily, it's not even a hard decision for me, I'm going to be looking to buy up some more shares of SoFi. I feel like that would be a great opportunity. But nonetheless, even in the $7 range, that is not too bad either. It wasn't too long ago that we had insiders that were buying up shares when it was trading in the $9 range and even in the $8 range. So if you are buying in right now, at least you know, as far as insiders are concerned, they see upside in the play. For you to have high conviction, you're going to need to do your homework and do your due diligence, not just go out there and buy the stock blindly. And why I emphasize this, if we take a look at how the price action has been flowing, you can see there's no floor whatsoever. So it can go down even lower and you want to make sure you're confident enough to buy the dip. Also, when we went on Fintel, taking a look at the recent institutional ownership, we could clearly see that institutions have been selling out of their positions, but I'm not concerned about this whatsoever. And the main reason being is because I have high conviction. And then when we took a look at the short interest information, it does continue to have short squeeze potential. And we do see in regards to the short volume, there has been a significant decrease. So what this shows me, shorts are probably covering their positions due to the fact that the stock has been getting beaten down and it's coming down to a price point where they're saying, you know what, this is where it should be settling at. And that's why I say keep an eye on that $6 area. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will continue to keep you guys inside of the loop when it comes to SoFi. We'll be talking real soon.